Okay, in this video I just want to do a few uh, quick examples just to kind of uh, test yourself over exponents a little bit. And what I want to do is we've got four problems here and we just want to ask ourselves, are these true or false? So let's look at part A here. So here it says 5 squared or 5 raised to the second power equals 25 and we want to know if that's true. Well, remember 5 squared What that means is, it says we take the number 5 times 5, and since the exponent is 2, we multiply 2 of them total. Well, 5 times 5 is 25. So it looks like to me that first statement definitely is a true statement. Okay, Let's look at the second one here. We have 7 squared equals 14. Well, if we use the same idea, so 7 squared, that means we have 7 times 7. But 7 times 7 gives us 49, not 14. So this next statement is definitely false. Okay, I think this is a very easy mistake to do though. You know, with exponents you're definitely multiplying things together, so you, I think, you know, we have multiplication on the brain, but we just kind of, some, I think we might have a tendency to just naturally multiply the two numbers that we see. So um, what I used to do, you know, until I got pretty comfortable with exponents, is just simply write it out. What is 7 squared? It's, well, it's a few 7s being multiplied together. So I think sometimes if I see it written out, you know, I, I, I have a tendency to not make this little mistake, which is very easy to do. So be careful about that, I, I say. Um, let's look at the last two here. And uh, we've got negative 2 all squared, and then we have negative 2 squared. Okay? So... There's definitely a difference here, and let's be real careful. This is, you know, definitely one of the most common mistakes that that uh, I think uh, that occur. So, well, again, um, we have the negative two all in parentheses, so the negative has been snared. It's trapped inside the parentheses, so it also gets squared. So we're going to take negative two. That's the thing inside the parentheses, and since the exponent is two. We multiply negative 2 by negative 2. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 2 gives us 4. So this original statement um, in part C, I would say that definitely is true. That's correct. Now let's look at this last one here. Notice now that the negative is not in the parentheses. So when we write negative 2 squared, if you want to, you can write it out. You can write that as negative 1 times 2 squared. And now we have to think about exponents. This is what I used to always do, excuse me, about order of operations. And order of operations, well, remember we do exponents before we do multiplication. So the negative 1 is just going to be hanging out front. And then we take 2 times 2. Well, 2 times 2 gives us positive 4, but then when we multiply that by the negative 1, we actually end up getting negative 4. So this last statement here is in fact very false. Okay, So I would say, you know, really make sure that you catch the distinction between C and D because this is certainly one of the most common mistakes to make. Again, probably one that I've made a million times in my life. Hopefully you won't make it quite so often.